Glory to God. Glory to God. Welcome. Hallelujah. Good evening and welcome to Mount Carmel Ministries, our Wednesday night Bible study. Amen. We thank God for you tuning in via Facebook and Zoom. Hit that share button. Let somebody know that we're home. Glory to God. We are blessed and highly favored. We're excited to be in the house of the Lord tonight. Amen. Y'all, <clears throat> uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm still a little nasally, but I'm healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, uh, I don't know what we went over last week. I wasn't here. But I, uh, what was it? The promises of God. We're going to talk tonight about it, if y'all don't mind. This is what I've been, 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 been burning in my spirit, being fully dressed. Being fully dressed. We're going to talk about the armor of God. And that's a promise of God. <clears throat> Amen. That he would never leave us, nor would he forsake us. And God gives us everything that we need to do everything we need to do. Amen. <clears throat> so again, <clears throat> thank God for you being here tonight. And uh, I pray that uh, you're going to be blessed of the Lord as we go through this time of study tonight. <clears throat> also, just be aware that uh, on June the 10th, uh, we'll be having a, 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 a little seminar here uh, on Medicaid expansion. Uh, we have an opportunity to receive some uh, more support from the city of Vicksburg and the Champion Program by putting on another one more program, and that program is going to deal with Medicaid expansion. We're going to have two people coming in to talk to us about Medicaid expansion. One is a junior at Ole Miss uh, University, Miss, it was the University of Mississippi, amen, and she's done a lot of research on Medicaid expansion. And the other one is going to be Representative Oscar Denton, uh, representative of the 55th District for the state of Mississippi. So uh, nine from 9 to 9.30 to 12 noon on June the 10th. Amen. And Sister Ingrid is kind of uh, organizing that. And June is also uh, Mental Health Month. For Father, Father's Day, man. Amen. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Come on, let's say, give it up for Father's Day. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Sometimes us fathers, we get, well, I ain't going to go in there. Hallelujah. But anyway, glory to God. Just keep that and, and, and hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Again, tonight we're going to be talking about being fully dressed. Being fully dressed. God wants us fully dressed. Oh, you heard that phrase, dress for success. And when you and I dress in the armor of God, there's really no way that you and I can lose. Amen? So that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. So let's go to the book of Ephesians. <clears throat> let's go to the book of Ephesians, the sixth chapter. And we're going to read from verse 10 through 18. And then we're going to uh, get into our lesson this afternoon. Amen. Again, thank God for all of you who are here, all of you who are on the way, and those of you who are tuning in via Zoom and Facebook Live. Look what it says. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Uh, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, take, on the whole, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having, your, uh, having girded your waist with truth and have put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, which, uh, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Father God, we thank you for the opportunity to share your word tonight. Holy Spirit, we thank you for your divine presence. Now lead us and guide us, O oh God, as we go through this study. None of me, O oh God, all of you, Holy Spirit, truly have your way. Breathe on us tonight. We thank you, O oh God, that we will get fresh revelation, O oh God, and that we will leave this place better than we came, fully dressed, 
to, to, to go out and do all that you've called us to do. Again, God, we thank you and we glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> oh, hallelujah. Somebody just shout amen. amen. All right. Have you ever heard uh, of this, 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 this old story years ago? Uh, I don't know, years ago, but way back then. Uh, the Empress New Clothes. The Empress New Clothes. This, this is a guy who uh, uh, was kind of, you know, headstrong, and some people came in and told him that they could build him or make him a garment that was so fantastic, but then there was a catch. Only the smart, intelligent, uh, uh, aristocratic type people would be able to see it. <clears throat> and he bought into what they were saying. They set up the loom. And people would come in to see the garment that they were building, that they were making for this, this ruler, and nothing was on the loom. Yet everybody pretended that something was there <clears throat> because they didn't want to be perceived as ignorant, dumb, and not knowing. And uh, the day came for him to wear this garment out in public. They had a parade set up for him, and he's out. He's out. Hallelujah. And nobody said anything because nobody wanted to be perceived uh, that they didn't know, that they couldn't see, until a young boy cried out, the king is naked. And when he said that, that just broke everything. And by that time, the swindlers were gone. Well, what I want to talk, uh, I mentioned that because God wants us to be fully dressed to do all that he's called us to do. And sometimes uh, we, we know the pieces of armor, but sometimes we are not cognizant on, on what those pieces of armor represents, nor do we really, really know how to utilize that armor. And, 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 and failing to realize that we sometimes have to be trained in how to use that armor. Remember David, when <clears throat> uh, he was getting ready to fight Goliath, he, he killed him with uh, a rag and a rock, didn't he? took a rock out of his shepherd's bag. They tried to put him on the armor of the king, but David said, I've not tried it yet. Uh, but how many of you know that David learned how to use armor? See, don't think David became a mighty man of war not learning how to use the physical armor of the day. Amen? And so God has given us spiritual armor, but we have to learn how to utilize, use that armor when we go into battle. Amen? So it's more than just knowing what it is, but it's having a deeper understanding on how to utilize this armor by the word of God. Somebody shout amen. I want to be interactive now. Glory to God, because our God is good. Somebody shout, he good. Okay. Now, when this phrase put on the whole armor comes from a Greek, Greek word, which means all in armor. But when we, you and I got to understand, Paul is looking at the Roman soldier and we see the outer armor. But for us, it's an inner armor. Amen. It is an inner armor. It is what's in our spirit and that's going to enable us or give us the ability to wage war against the enemy. Look what Zechariah says in Zechariah chapter four, verse verse six. And he answered and said unto me, this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Amen. So again, to operate in the armor of God, to, to utilize the armor of God effectively, you got to be in the spirit. Before you do anything else, you got to be in the spirit. Amen. And, and you got to stay in the spirit. Somebody stay in the spirit. Glory to God, because it's the spirit that's going to give you the ability to do what you're supposed to do, need to do by the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. How many know that Jehovah is creator God? Amen. What, what, what did Jehovah create? Everything. everything. Glory. Come talk back to me now. He created everything. Amen. And now oh, what happened to us when we sinned? When mankind sinned? Separated from his power, not separated from God's love. But Jesus came and Jesus is our reconnector. Amen. Jesus reconciled us back to God to connect us back to everything that has been created. Amen. And see, the enemy don't want you reconnected to everything that's been created because now you have power and authority and ability over him. Are y'all on? Because, oh, thank you for that one, God, because he's a created being. He's a created being, but you are created to have dominion and power over him. 
Come on now, come on now, come on now. See, that's why he's on our feet. I, I, I'm getting a little too excited. And the Holy Spirit is our helper to help us work out everything, work out with everything that's been created. Amen? Glory to God. Okay, okay. So let's look at the first part. He said the belt of truth or the loin belt. Y'all know, know about that one, don't you? Amen? The belt of truth. He said, having, uh, look at verse, he said, therefore, having girt your waist with truth. Now, 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 uh, uh, it's, it's in the notes that you have. This is in the center part of the body. Why is that important? Why is that important? Center part of the body. Heart, organs, okay. Can I just mess with you for a minute? Hallelujah. You know, no, we, we, people are on the health craze now, amen? And they say your immune system begins in your gut. Amen? Your digestive tract. Your digestive tract is very important to the operation of the body. And so we have to watch this. Uh, he, says, uh, he says, the loin belt or the belt of truth. The word of God is true. Amen? But see, a lot of folk hear the word of God, but they never digest it. Come on now. A lot of folks hear the word of God, but they never allow the word of God to become engrafted. They never allow the word of God to get implanted. They never allow the word of God to become a part of who they are. Head knowledge, no heart knowledge. In other words, that word is not a part of them. The truth of that, I put it that way, the truth of the word of God, they don't believe. So you can't believe this part of the Bible and not believe that part. Amen. You got to believe the whole Bible. Amen? You got to be the whole body. The part you like, the part you kind of like, and the part you don't like. You got to believe it all. Amen? Because it all going to work together. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. So you got, that's, that's central. That, 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 that has to be at your core. The truth of the word of God has to be at your core. Look what it says. Uh, 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 God's word is true. How many believe that? Look at Psalms 119 verse 160. He said, the entirety of your word is true. And every one of your righteous judgments endures forever. So the entirety of the word of God is true. Every word is true. Every word is true. Every word is true. You know, whether you believe it or not, it's still true. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Uh, and, and see, you got to have this so digested in your spirit that can't nobody talk you out of what you know is true. Amen. Glory to God. Because there are going to be a lot of winds of doctrine coming, uh, uh, coming your way. Uh, Tyrone, would you give this to uh, whoever that is coming in? Uh, there's going to be a lot of wind of doctrine. There's going to be a lot of stuff coming your way. But you've got to, help, you've got to decide on purpose that you're not going to be swayed by what somebody else is saying. Oh, yeah. Amen. Glory to God. So the entire, he said the entirety of his word is true. Amen. Look at Luke uh, 8 and, and, and 11. He said, this is the parable. Uh, uh, now, the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Amen. Now, somebody tell me something about a seed. Hallelujah. I feel good. I, I'm a happy. Every seed reproduces after its own kind. Okay. So if I got the seed of the word of God, I got the truth of the word of God, and I'm studying the word of God, I'm musing and meditating on the word of God, what am I going to What am I going to produce? Righteous with the word of God. I'm going to, uh, and, and see, that, that word is going to keep reproduce, reproducing. <laughs> that word is going to keep reproducing, amen. And watch now, I'll go from a tree to an archic. Come on now, come on now. See, 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 God trying to get us to expand our capacity to believe what he said is true. That no matter what the enemy tries to put against you, you've got to know that you have the power and the authority by Almighty God when you have the truth to expand on the truth. Glory to God. Glory. In other words, you're not using your, you, you, it's not your truth, it's his truth. Amen. Glory to God. And see, the enemy can't stand against the truth. Amen. Can't, really can't nothing stand up, up against the truth of God's word. But you and I got to know that. Amen. Look at Psalms 138, 1 and 2. Look what it says. I will praise you with my whole heart. Before the gods, I will, I will sing praises to you. 
I will worship toward the holy temple, and I will praise your name for, for your loving kindness and your truth. You, uh, it's quiet, help me, I'm, 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 for you have magnified your word above all of your name. Amen. You've magnified your word above all your name. Now, now, now names are words, though, aren't they? Hallelujah. And the word doesn't become flesh. Come on, talk back to me now. Amen. Glory to God. So the more words you get in you, the more truth of the word of God that you get in you, the more you're going to be able to do. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, uh, talk, talk, huh? The more your faith is going to grow. Amen. The, uh, 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 this, is, this ain't in your notes, but in Philippians chapter 2, uh, he, he said he said he's given him a name which is above every name. Uh -oh. But then what does the next part of that say? That at the, come on, talk to me now, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue could should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Then you have dominion over in heaven. In earth and things underneath the earth. So again, we're talking about doing spiritual warfare and we're talking about having on the whole armor of God. So it starts with you gotta have the truth so ingrained, so, 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 so pressed down, shaken together, and running over on the inside of you that the enemy can't shake it out of you. Right. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. So you gotta have this truth. You gotta have any, any, any questions about the truth. It's the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And it's, you, you, you gotta, look, look, you've got to know it for yourself. Again, going back, it's this belt in this gut. You have to digest it. It has to become, see, when you digest something, it becomes a part of you. Amen? Because you don't know, oh, help me, Holy Ghost, help me, Holy Ghost, help me. Ghost. See, if it ain't going to benefit you, it's expelled. Y'all don't want to, come on now. It, it, it goes out. But, the right kind of truth builds muscle. Hallelujah. And, and what you say about muscle? What you say about muscle? Your, 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 your muscles can have a memory. Amen? Glory to God. See, when, when, you, when you go in that gym down at Alcorn State University, hallelujah, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. And, and, and you go in that gym and, and that trainer gets you to working out. <clears throat> and, and God forbid you get injured, but you had to take a day off or something. When you come back, to go back to working out, your muscles don't remember what they used to do. And with time and effort, your muscles will do what they used to do and then even do it better, won't they? God, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to just tell you this. You know, uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, it's already 721. Uh, when I left the police academy, I was cut. I was cut. Had been running up Heartbreak Hill with my heart nearby broke. But, but I was cut, I was cut, I was cut. Had some arms, boy. And there was a, a swing set in the back of my, my girlfriend, now my wife, house. Amen. And my brother-in-law, Don Ray, that passed a little while ago, was a former Marine. Former Marine. Had been out of the Marine 20 years or better. But I'm cut. So I went, I jumped up on that thing, and I'm going to do some chin-ups. I did three good ones. I, as, and I jumped down like I had done something. Donna Ray looked at me, shook his head, jumped up there. Boom, 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 boom. I went in the house. That muscle, come on, talk. That's that muscle memory. See, now God's trying to let us know, glory to God, you're going to encounter a whole lot of things, but the more time you spend with me, you get my truth down on the inside of you. Situ situations may not come up today, may not come up tomorrow, may not come up next week, but when they come up, when they come up, you're going to remember what I said. Hallelujah. And you're going to be able to overcome that challenge, amen? But, you got, but if, if, if it's not in there, it can't do that. Amen? Glory to God. So the second piece of armor, any questions about this girdle of truth? One of the other things we talk about, the girdle of truth or the belt of truth, is a lot of, a lot of the other pieces of armor hang on you believing what God said. They, they hang on that belt. So, 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 so whatever you do is going to hang on whether or not you believe what God has said. Come on. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. 
how, well, how, do you, how, how do we put on this belt of truth? Since you asked, how do you put on this belt of truth? By that, but you got to get in the word of God. You got to stay in the word of God. Hallelujah. You got to spend time uh, musing on it, meditating on it. Feeding your spirit, just like you, hey, just like you had to have them Zuzus and Oreo cookies and stuff. You, 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 hallelujah, help me, God. <laughs> Blue Bell ice cream. You, 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 look, you, you, you got to feast on this word. Notice what I said, feast on it. I ain't said snack on it. Oh, man, come on now. Look, 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 uh, 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 Deacon and I are a little different. I love hamburgers. I, 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 love, I, I, love, I love hamburgers. But, 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 but Deacon, I believe he'll eat a hamburger, but I heard Mary say, he liked that soul food. Peas and, what, what that lady said, peas, greens, and you know, look. <laughs> and I like that too, amen? But, and, and, and so you got to decide on purpose that you're going to, watch this, give yourself a balanced diet of the word of God. That's how you put on this belt of truth. Oh, bro. And brother just said, you got to have an appetite for it. But watch this now. Woo. When you start to learn from God that God is God, you will develop an appetite for stuff you didn't like. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Because you're starting to realize this is beneficial for me. And now that I know that it's beneficial for me, it's not starting to taste good to me. <clears throat> oh, glory to God. Now your thirst and hunger is being, 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 being led and guided in the right way, in the right direction. Uh-huh. Oh, because now you've tasted and seen that the Lord is good. Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> well, watch this now. Woo! I'm so good. You're so good to me. Thank you. Again, when I was a police, I was on patrol. They bought bulletproof vests. So I had to get used to wearing a bulletproof vest. It was uncomfortable. I didn't like it. I couldn't indulge in certain, you know, overindulgence in foods when I was patrolling. Because when I sit down in the car, it, you know, it, I, you know, but here's the thing. After wearing it for a while, I'd say, I ain't wearing this today. And I would put my shirt on, put my gun belt on, go to driving around in my car, and something just didn't feel right. Till I went back home, put that vest on, as uncomfortable as it was, now I'm comfortable. Are you understanding what I'm saying? God, see, God knows how to work some things out in you for your benefit, where you start to realize, although this may be uncomfortable, it's beneficial. Uh, oh, come on now, come on now, come on now. Yes, you don't. Yes, you want, you, you want to stay under that covering, don't you? Glory to God. All right. So I had to get, I had to get, I, I, I had to go back and put that thing on. I had to go back and put that thing on because I was actually now uncomfortable without it. Amen. Amen. And that's why we want to stay with the Holy Spirit. That word of truth. That, you know, I, I'm glad Tyrone brought it up. It, be, it become, how to say it, God? You become, you become comfortable even in uncomfortable situations because the power of God is right there with you. Amen. Amen. See, you don't have to worry about what you're going to say. He said, I'll touch your tongue. I'll think through your mind if you let me. I'll speak through your vocal cords if you let me. Glory to God. But you got, we have to decide, Amen. And, and, and this, 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 this word has been tried and tested and proven to be genuine and correct. Amen. The scripture says the word is forever settled in heaven. Mm -hmm. it, it, oh, you, once you settle it in your spirit, you're good. Amen. Come on, come on, come on.
Hang on that bell. Is that you got to keep it on? You got to keep it on, and, and, and you got to work out in it. Woo! See, that's why you got to be fully dressed. Can't just have one or two pieces on. Got to be fully dressed. And, and 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 again, the more you wear it, you know, you know what you know what knots to put it in. Oh, and you, oh, hallelujah. And, but that used to, that, oh, that, 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 that was so, you know, I started out, I started out, I had a 357, handcuffs, and a radio. That was it. Wasn't long after that, I had a Beretta, double magazine pouch, handcuffs, and an aspartum. Then they added, well, I didn't say that. I added to their belt, excuse me, a taser. That, I mean, that, 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 I mean, can you, uh, uh, but, 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 but the officer had to know where every piece of that equipment was. And, and he had to work out enough with it that he did not mistakenly grab one thing for something. Oh, y'all understand what I'm saying. And, 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 and the only way you can do that is that you got to keep working out. You got to keep practicing. Amen. And notice the scripture says, it is he that practices righteousness that's righteous. Amen. It's not just the fact that you know what righteousness is based on a clinical definition. But you got you, you, you to live a righteous life. Somebody shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. And see, that's, a, that's, that, that, that's that second piece of armor. That's a, the, the breastplate of righteousness. He said, stand, verse 14 of our text, says, stand therefore, having girt your waist with truth. We done talked about that. And put, in, and put on the breastplate of righteousness. Now, this is another crucial piece of, of weaponry. It protects the heart and the central organs. Amen. And notice now, this righteousness is not our righteousness, but it's the righteousness of God. Right. Amen. Glory to God. But, 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 hallelujah. When you hang out with the righteous God, what's going to happen? Come on, talk to me, y'all. It's going to rub off on you. Hey, come on now. The more you hang out with the righteous God, the more you see uh, uh, these righteous attributes these things start to be implanted in you. This anointing, see, anytime anointing is genuine, it's transferable. And how many know that God's anointing is genuine? Amen. Hallelujah, amen. And he, wants, and, and, and he wants you to be anointed. Oh, God, hallelujah. It, 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 it's, not, it's, not, it's, not a, it's not one of them things that it, it, maybe, no. He wants you to be anointed. He wants you to walk under his power, his authority, and his, his ability, no matter where you go. That, see, see, the anointing is for, that is, to destroy the works of the enemy. But see, your heart got to be right. See, see, it's got to be about him and not about you. Somebody shout amen. Look, look, Isaiah 64 and 60 says, but like an unclean thing, talking about us, before we got saved. Amen. Uh, 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 and all of our righteousness is like a filthy rag. Uh, we, are, we all fade as a leaf, and our iniqui iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. So, again, we have to understand that uh, this, this breastplate of righteousness is provided to us through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Because God said, you need something. Hallelujah. And I got just what you need. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How many know that God... God that he, he, Oh, you need holler. God knows everything you need 
Well, uh, God, got, come on now. We're going to sing in a minute. God got it. And he's waiting. Uh, uh, look, 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 look. He's waiting to give it to you. Look at 2 Corinthians 5.21. It says, For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Amen? So uh, again, this breastplate of righteousness has been made ready for us. All we got to do is put it on. You, you, you don't have to do anything to, 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 to become righteousness other than believe. Amen? Believe and receive. Come on now. Hallelujah. And once you believe and receive, you ready to work. Somebody shout Amen. Tell you, they've got to be fully dressed. Look at 1 Corinthians 1 and 30. He said, but of him, uh, but of him, you are in Christ Jesus. Somebody say, I'm in Christ Jesus. In Christ. Who, became, who, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. All this is about, see, see you don't, don't be thinking that, that I, I don't know nothing. You got the wisdom of God on the inside of you. Come on now. But see, you got to tap into that wisdom. See, if you don't know it's there, you won't use it. But if you know, if you know that, the Bible, the Bible says, if a man lacks wisdom, that's what James said, let him ask of God who gives liberally and he won't hold nothing back from you. The, uh, greater is he. See, we'll say it, but do we really know who he is? Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You got to get it in you, though. You got to get it in you. We are his righteousness. Amen. We are made righteous by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Come on, somebody to get, talk, to, tell me something now. 735. Come on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's worth it. That's good. Mm -hmm. We can't do it. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, so you, so, so you, you, so you can't be like that emperor thinking you got it on. And just butt naked. Been hooked, wink, bamboozled, and run them up. You got to get into the word of God so God can show you that you are equipped for whatever it is. Whatever going to go down, I've equipped you for it. Amen. Glory to God. He ain't going to force it on you. Mm -hmm. Got it. I'm telling you. Glory to God. And, and, and it ain't, he ain't going nowhere. It, it's not going anywhere. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Here's the, here's the third piece of arm. Here's the third piece of arm. He said, our shoes clothed with peace. Look at verse 15 again. He said, and having, your, and, having, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Now, 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 now I'm going uh, uh, talk about football player. Man, I, I, I'm going to build me a pair of uh, Roman soldier shoes. They, they are like steel toe boots on steroids. They, 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 got, they got hobnobs or hobnails or spikes on the bottom like cleats, on the heel, on the toe. Amen. And, and, and you know, now there's a picture in that handout you got. Uh, them, them ain't the shoes. Them, 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 those, those just sandals. That, that Roman soldier, he had on some, some boots and they even had a metal that came up around his calf. To protect his calf from 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 from, wep from weapons, uh, and those those those, those, those cleats or those spikes, they were for him to walk on hard ground, but also to dig in, and, 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 and he couldn't be moved. Amen. Glory to God. I heard that song said, "I shall not, I shall not be." You you know that song. You know that song. That's what I heard. But 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 that's what that, that, that but, but watch this now. That's how your feet got to be shod. That's how, uh, now, shawing of a horse or shoeing of a horse, now, now I'm getting a little bit out of my area, but, but, but shoeing of a horse, uh, uh, they put shoes 
on a horse's feet, those metal shoes, so that that, that, that cartilage or whatever his hooves are made out of don't crack. Have you ever uh, towed your nail and, and, and towed your nail and tore it back too far? It's painful. Well, that's what, if a horse is on hard ground, broke that hoof, that's why they came up lame. And so we put that, they put that, 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 that horseshoe on there to protect that hoof from splitting. And so God, God said, I need you to understand something. Look at what it said in Joshua. I go, go, I'm so happy. He said, for every place that the sole of your foot tread, I'm going to give it to you. Well, the enemy don't want you to tread on him. The enemy don't want you to take back the ground that he done took from you. So, so, so if you try to attack the enemy and not have your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, then you, 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 you're not going to be able to advance. Am I making sense? God wants you to be able to advance against the enemy, but you got to be prepared to advance. Look at John. Uh, look at John. Well, stay with me now. Uh, We're we going somewhere. John chapter 13, verse 14 through 17. Look what the word of God says. <clears throat> if then... <clears throat> If then your Lord and teacher have washed your feet, looking at these feet now, uh, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Most assuredly, I say unto you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is he that sent greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. Okay, Jesus took on the form of a bond servant and he washed his disciples' feet. That job was delegated to a, a slave because they had to walk on the road. Amen. A well, sister girl pre preached a sermon while I was gone, and, 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 and she talked about how beautiful are the feet that are the people that preach the gospel of peace. Now, walking back in those, those days, everything that was on the road got on your feet. Mm -hmm. Doo-doo and everything. Come on, now talk back to me. Uh, and, and, and so when they would come into the house, somebody would wash their feet. So Jesus took that job. The son of God took the job to wash every one of his disciples' feet. And he let them know, I, 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 I'm not too big to bow. Uh, glory to God. Glory to God. And see, you, say it again. Uh, he had a servant's heart. Amen. So you, you and I, when he says our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, yes, we got battle-ready feet, but we got a heart full of love. We have battle-ready feet, but a heart that's full of love. You see, go, go back to Genesis now. He says, I need you to subdue some things. Be fruitful, multiply, and subdue. Amen. So I got subduing shoes. Amen. But I still got this heart that God has given me to love everybody. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Glory to God. You, are, are you kind of halfway kind of getting it? Oh, hallelujah. One of the things, Alan, the people will use say, well, you know, the sword of the spirit is the only offensive weapon. I, I disagree. I, every, every, every piece of armor can be used both offensively and defensively if you know how to use it. Amen? You be, be, being led by those? It, I mean, it, let, let, let's say even in the natural. In the natural... In the natural, in, in the natural, oh, hallelujah, help me, Holy Ghost. In the natural, you got a helmet on, on the football field, right? That's to protect your head, right? Can you use that helmet as a weapon? Take that thing off and crack somebody in the head with it. You ain't going to do that, though, amen, in the name of Jesus. What, 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 am, I, what am I trying to show? What trying to show? Come on, Mary. Oh, look at it, look, look. look. She, she, she talking about spirit. She, she, her husband must know something about football. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. So, so, oh, so, so get this now. Get this now. Uh, 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 that, that helmet, the shield. Shield is normally uh, used to protect you, but you can bump somebody with that shield. Amen. So, 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 so stop just thinking all you got is one offensive weapon. Every piece of armor can be used both ways. Glory to God. Glory to God. Every piece. And God want to show you how to do it. Amen. Glory to God. Okay, okay, I'm getting a little too excited. Okay, okay, okay. 
Let me see. So, so Jesus took on this job washing his feet. Okay, okay. You, you, and, and so now this is where your feet got to get beautiful. This is where your feet got to get beautiful. Because in your heart, you got on the breast, breast, you got on the breastplate of righteousness, amen? Because you, 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 you have love for God and love for God's people. Somebody say amen. Amen. This word uh, beautiful is kalos, K-A-L-O-S, which means uh, an outward sign of inward grace, of inward good, nobility, honor, character, good, all that good stuff. Amen. It's right in there. Now, now here's a good scripture for you. Amen. And I got excited when the Holy Spirit dropped this on me. Amen. Glory to God. Look at Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. He says, Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore, be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Ooh, my, 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 my. God says, uh, I'm equipping you for battle, hallelujah, but I'm giving you a heart of love. I'm going to show you what to fight, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Y'all better talk back to me, hallelujah, but against spiritual wickedness, amen. I'm not fighting against folk, amen. I'm fighting against the spirit of, spirit of darknesses, amen, darknesses, amen, the spirit of darkness. So, so I've got to learn how to fight, who I'm fighting, and know how to separate, oh, there it is, the person from the problem. Amen. Woo! Good God Almighty. How to separate the person from the problem, that spirit that's operating in them. Woo! Good God Almighty. And God will show you how to do it because you got that heart of love. But what, is it, what, 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 what we know about the serpent? What we know about, he's cunning. He's more cunning than any beast, and he studies his victims, amen? So God, the Holy Ghost knows all things, don't huh? So the Holy Ghost will tell you how to approach this situation. God have mercy. And, oh, oh, that's a good one right there. He'll give you, oh, shut up, God. He'll give you word of wisdom, a word of knowledge about that person, and when you speak that, it'll break them down like a fraction. Because they'd be, they be like, how in the world did he or she know that? I ain't told nobody about that. But God told you. God told you. And let them know that God had them on his mind. And he done sent you to be a witness to them. Oh, hallelujah. And it goes back to what Deacon said. Because you done demonstrated, I got this heart this breastplate of righteousness working on the inside of me. Hallelujah. See, God could trust you with information like that. Oh, see, how many know that God don't trust everybody with everything? Amen. Glory to God. So we got, we got to get this in there. And see, that's why, again, Satan don't want you to make sure that you prepare. Hallelujah. That you study to show yourself approved. He, he don't want you to go through the process, the strenuous process of having your feet shod. Hallelujah. Spending time in the word of God. When, the, when, they, when, when they sometimes file that hoof down, then they have to drive them nails into that, into that, 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 that hoof. That's why Paul said, I'm crucified. I mean, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. But yet not I, but Christ that liveth in me. So sitting on this arm of God and understanding the pieces and everything that go on, that's like who can't be ready to walk. Amen. 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 You're studying to show yourself approved. You're, you're preparing for where wherever it is God gonna see you. Whatever it is that God's gonna call you to do. Amen. Glory to God. Okay. Okay, let me see. Again, look at uh, uh, Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10, verse 18 and 19. Again, because your feet got to be shod. Look what, no what he says here. I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I give you authority to trample on. See, look, see if your feet ain't right, you ain't going to trample on the enemy. Jesus even told them, told he said, how can, how can the devil cast out the devil? See, if you the devil, you ain't going to trample on the devil. Oh, y'all better help me up in here. Glory to God. Y'all bosom buddies. You ain't got no more power. But matter of fact, y'all, y'all in cahoots. But he said, he said, he said, I give you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing. Somebody shout nothing. Nothing shall by any means 
hurt you, amen? So our feet shot, spiked, and clicked, and we, 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 we gussed it up. Glory to God. Uh, you know, our feet, how many, how many of them went through some stuff? And, and how many know that it was the grace of God that brought you through it, amen? Hallelujah, glory to God. And, and my wife was talking to somebody today uh, uh, about, about, about a situation, and, and she was telling them, uh, 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 never go down. Uh, or they, they, they was talking about applying for a job or something, and, 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 and they, were going, uh, they, was, they was already here, but they were going to apply for a job down here because they thought they could get a transfer over there. And she just gave an example of a, a lot of folk who did that that never got back to here. See, see, the enemy wants you to back down. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The enemy wants you to back down from who you are in Christ Jesus. We did, come on now. Uh, ab I love that book, above only and not beneath. Amen. See, you, that's why you got to get that mindset. And you got to let that mindset set in. Woo! Oh, God, God. You got to let it set in. 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 Glory to God. Like a setting hen, help me, Holy Ghost. Or a setting hen, hallelujah. Setting hen, she got to set for 21 days. If she set for 21 days, after 21 days, on the eggs, I will start to have. I'm not going to excuse you. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. See, don't you want to birth something? Hallelujah. Let it, let it. Hallelujah. God wants to anoint you, amen. But you got you to gotta allow your feet to have that dove quality. Amen. You're wise as a serpent, but you're harmless as a dove. You, 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 you're taking back territory, but you ain't killing people. Whoa. I know, I know, I know. When I was, oh, back again when I was the police. Hallelujah. I'm trying to let it go. Uh, 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 I would tell my wife, but man, I'll tell her about stuff, you know, how to recognize gang members, how to recognize uh, 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 folk that's doing, doing bad things. And, you know, cause I, could, I could look at them and, you know, I could read some tattoos and all that all kind of stuff. And we'd be walking in the mall, and I, and I said, that's a one percenter. They did it. And she'd be like this. I, I'm trying to, Angel, I'm, I'm just trying to give her a little, little edge of occasion on the side. Now, she'd be like, that's good. Don't be staring at them folk like right that. <laughs> so anyway, 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 come. Okay, 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 okay. So your feet got to be shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Amen. Okay, why is peace important? Why is peace? He says your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Why is peace important? No takers? Okay. Okay. And now you pulling it on out. Pull it on out now. Going back to what Jesus said, my peace I leave with, not as the world gives. See, because when we're trying to define peace in a worldly definition, we, we want the absence of all trouble. But peace as it relates to God, even in the midst of all trouble, I'm still, I got, I got the, come on. There you go. It's not determined by my circumstances or my environment. It's determined by what's in my heart. Come on. Here come peace. Look at it. We're the thermostat. We're not the thermometer. We set the atmosphere. We set the temperature. Glory to God. That when you know who you are. Mm-hmm. Going back to number one, 
he said, he said, he said, you got to do it by my spirit. The power and the might comes from having the spirit of almighty God operating, resonating on the inside of you. Amen. Look at you. You at peace, you feel better. Hallelujah. You don't panic. Glory to God. You're not stressing out. Because this is a confidence we have. Glory to God. See, these are the things that you got to know to operate in this armor. Amen. Glory. And again, one of the ways to know that you're completely dressed is not just having a spirit, but knowing that you're, you're staying under the blood. You stand under the blood. You're not moving away from nothing that God doesn't say. Because you believe the totality of the Bible. Mm -mm. You're an active participant in everything, everything that God is doing. Amen. You, 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 you hands on. Amen. Glory to God. Lord, we got about five minutes. We're going to try to do shield of faith. I don't know how much I had in there about shield of faith. The shield of faith. Look at verse 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith, which you are able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. So, again, you see a shield on there. Uh, uh, the Roman soldier, oftentimes we see the shield, we go shiny thing. But a lot of times it was made out of leather. And they either soaked it down with oil or they soaked it down with water. And when a dart would come, the, 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 uh, the, the surface of the shield was supple enough that it would give. And it would actually wrap around the fiery dart or the arrow and put it out. Look at God. Look at God. Put it out. Because he didn't want it ricocheting and hitting somebody else. Amen. We want to take the power out of the enemy. Amen. And look, faith does that. Amen. The shield of faith does that. You know, now that other one over there, that's just a big old police shield. That's just a big old police shield that you can bump somebody with. Amen. Glory to God. Look what he says in verse in, uh, 2 Corinthians. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 and 5. Uh, for the weapons of our warfare, warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Fiery darts are sometimes uh, referred to as uh, thoughts that cause you to doubt, thoughts that cause you not to believe, thoughts that cause confusion within your mind. And so the shield of faith was able, you're able to block those thoughts from coming in, amen, or, or by faith pull those thoughts down if they do get in, amen, so that you don't succumb and you start meditating on those thoughts. And, and you know, and tell the truth and shame the devil. When a thought... Uh, uh, when a, thought, uh, when a thought used to get in, when a, when a thought used to get in, when, <laughs> help me out, D. When a thought used to get in, uh, you, you start meditating on that thought that got in. And how long was it before you were thinking about doing what that thought, or, 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 or this girl said, uh, you already acted out on the thought? You got to learn how to change, change the channel. And, 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 the, and the enemy, the enemy, the enemy is something. Tell the truth and shame the devil. You ever been riding in your car? Come on, you got, I, I, I saw you riding in the car the other day. That's your car, ain't it? Oh, hallelujah. You ever been riding in your car and you trying to play 95.5? Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. I mean, but somebody pull up next to you and they got something else on. Uh, 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 why you want to do old school? Why you want to do old school? Why you want to do <laughs> No, why you want to pick on me like that? I'm, try, I'm trying to mess with him. But somebody pull up and they got something else playing on the radio and, 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 and you know the song because you don't you know. You, come on now, talk back to me now. And, and you end up turning yours down and listening to theirs. And then you don't change the channel, but you start riding down the street singing what they were. Anybody ever did that? So the enemy, the enemy knows how to slip something in there. Woo! Talk back to me now. Amen. 
Gotta learn how to cast it. You gotta take it, take captive, take it. And you and I have the power by the Holy Ghost to bring those thoughts into captivity because of our faith in God. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let me see what else I got. Uh, uh, now, 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 now. I got, I got to I got to so, Hallelujah. God has the ability. I'm out of time. Hallelujah. But God has the ability to send thoughts as well. Because you got to understand that the enemy is an imitator of God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> the Bible says, God says, no man comes to the son unless the father draws him. So God is always up to something, speaking to somebody to draw them to the son so that, that they can actually come to the father. So God knows how to drop a thought on him. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> we'll talk about this a little bit more <clears throat> as we finish this up next week. But uh, I, I was just blessed this morning uh, since, since he was going to bring up old school on me. Uh, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a Smokey Robinson fan. I, I like Smokey, amen. You know, I, I, I can sing like Smokey sometimes. Hallelujah. And uh, uh, Smokey is 80 some years old. 80 some years old. I, I, got, I got to say this. Uh, my wife went to see Smokey uh, three or four years ago when she, uh, uh, the, 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 they, they had a, a thing and they went to see him and she was talking about Smokey. I told them, we talking about Smokey. She was talking about Smokey was, Smokey was dancing and they talking about Smokey thought he was doing something and that's all Smokey was doing. I'm be talking about Smokey. Anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, but this morning, Smokey uh, uh, was, was, was saying, was telling somebody, they were interviewing him and he was saying, I know that God is real. And they said, they asked him the question, how do you know that God is real? He said, uh, for years I was strung out on weed and cocaine. Strung out on weed and cocaine. Uh, and I walked into a church one night high on cocaine. And this woman walked up to me and said, I've been praying for you. And, 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 and he, he said, she said, I don't know. He, she said, she told him. I've been, I was praying in my prayer closet and your name came out my mouth. And I said to the Lord, Lord, I don't know him. Why I'm praying for him? And he, she said, the, he said that she said that the Lord said to her, I need you to pray for him because if you don't pray for him, he's going to have a stroke and he's going to die from a cocaine overdose. And so she said, I started praying for you. So he, when he walked into that church that night, he was high and he was a junk, junkie. And they said, well, you kicked the heaven. He said, no, I didn't kick it. I was delivered that night and I hadn't touched anything since then. Now, now I, I, I'm saying that to say, glory to God, though the, though the enemy sitting fiery darts, when we look at verse 18 or 19 and we talk about praying always in the spirit, we, 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 we can send them back. Amen. We got our own weaponry. Come on now. And glory to God. See, that's why sometimes when the Lord wake you up at four o'clock in the morning and you thought it was just to go to the bathroom, you need to press pause and say, God, am I supposed to be doing something else? And, 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 and if you have the ability, help me, Holy Spirit, to pray in tongues, because sometimes you don't know how to pray or what to pray. But if you start praying in the spirit, God will answer. Amen. But you got to decide. You got to let God be God. Amen. See, stop trying to regulate God. And let God regulate you. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Amen. I stop, God. God. You, that's it. That's it. That's it. God, God, God wants us to be intercessors. Amen. And that's part of our spiritual warfare armory. Amen. So we covered, I don't know how many pieces, four, three, four, five. So we covered a few of them. And we'll finish it up next week, glory to God. But God wants us to be dressed. He wants us to be fully dressed. And again, that's why you can't just, you can't piecemeal this outfit. Amen. You can't choose to leave, leave out a part of it. No, you got to be fully dressed. You got to be completely dressed in the armor of God. Any questions or comments before we close out tonight? Come on now. Come on now. Talk, talk to a brother. Now. Any questions or comments? He wants us to put on the whole armor of God to be fully dressed. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, if you're in this house and under the sound of my voice and 
you've never ever accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, were you at the perfect place at the perfect time to do so, amen? Uh, today can be the first day of the rest of your life. And Jesus says, I've come that you can have life and have it more abundantly. But it starts with you accepting and receiving Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. We have to say Lord because you have to be willing to allow him to lead you and to guide you. Amen. He wants to save you. Amen. But don't just be saved and then not led by him so that you'll be led in the direction that he wants you to go. So if that's you, glory to God, and, uh, and you, you want to be saved, you, all you got to do is say, Father, I'm a sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ is your son. I believe that he was born of the Virgin Mary, uh, that he died on the cross, but he rose on the third day. Uh, and he, he has forgiven me. He died to take sin out of the way. And I ask him to forgive me of my sin. And I want to receive him as my Lord and Savior. If that, that is your confession, you're saved. You're saved. You're saved. You're saved. You can start to now allow him to tool you and to grow you and develop you for where it is he wants to take you. Some people pray that prayer, but they allowed the enemy to drift, cause them to drift away. They did not allow the word of God to, to anchor them or to anchor their soul to God. But they realized tonight that they need that anchor in their life. They need to really digest that truth so that they can die to themselves so they can live wholeheartedly for God. If that's you, all you got to do is say, Father, forgive me. I messed up. I want to come back. And look, he's not going to turn you away. He'll meet you right where you are. And he'll, he'll put you back in right standing with him. Somebody shout amen. Last but not least, if you don't have a church home, we're Mount Carmel Ministries located here in the Hill City of Vicksburg, 20, 2015 Grove Street. Glory to God. We'll be glad to have you as a part of our congregation. Amen. And we'll teach you as God and Holy Ghost teaches us how to win in every area of our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Father God, again, we thank you for what you've done in this house tonight. We give you the glory. We honor you. We praise you. Continue, O oh God, to tool us to put, have us to put on the whole armor of God that we are able to do all that you've called us to do. And, Lord God, we'll be careful to give you and you alone the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, we thank you and pray. Send y'all a shout, amen. 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 What, what's your name? What's your name? Huh? Huh? Jeanette, Mr. Washington, so you answered that question correctly, I've got to give you that. What's your name? Angela Gray, you answered that question correctly. I'd like to bless you with